Hey guys, today we're gonna be making a to-do desktop app using React and NWJS, which you can see here. So I just wanted to show what we'll be using, but you're not gonna need to install anything from this website. And then later on, we're also gonna install UUID that's just gonna allow us to have unique ID for our, all of our to-dos. And this is gonna be our final project. So we're just gonna have a simple to-do where we can add the values by either pressing enter or clicking add to-do. We can remove the values or to-dos and then we're not going to be able to submit an empty to-do here. So that's going to be our final project and inside my VS Code we're going to open a folder. We're going to create a new folder on our desktop that's going to be say to-do-app-react. Now we can select that folder. Let's make this a bit bigger. And here we're going to run our console. Clear everything. And we're going to do npx create dash nw dash react dash app dot. So dot means generate the files inside this folder we opened. And this should take a, a two, three minutes. So I'll be back once it finishes installing. All right. So it finished installing and you're going to be able to see this message npm run build npm test and other stuff. So here. We can do npm start and that's going to install a few more things and it's going to build a project for us. So we're just going to wait for that. Okay, so now we can see our project here on the left. And then we can close the console. We're gonna go to source app.js. And that should update live here, as you see. We'll do one, two, three again. So we're gonna add all our states for our to-do here. So the first thing we need to import is use state from React. And then here we want to have few states. So the first state is going to be for all our to-dos. So to-dos, set to-dos. And for now we're just going to make it an empty array. And we're going to need another state that's going to be for our input value. So we're going to call it value and set value. And we want to set that to an empty string. So also, we, we need to install the UUID as well. So if we go to this website, that's going to be linked in the description. We're going to copy this, come back here, open console, and we can open a new terminal just so we don't need to end the project. And we're just going to install that here. And then if you come here, this is how we import it and use it as well. So we're going to copy this line. Let's wait for this to finish installing. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing is we need a function to add to do. So we're going to make a function called add to do. We're going to make it an arrow function. And inside of this, we want to call our state, which is set to do's. We're going to get all the previous to do's. And then we're going to pass an object here. And inside our object, we're going to have text that's going to be equal to value, which is going to be connected to our input. And also ID that's going to be UUID v4. So we need to call it as a function here. And then let's add a few things here. So we're going to have a container. Then inside of that, we're going to have a form. Doesn't need any action. We're going to have an input that's type text and a placeholder that says add to do. And under the input, we want to have a button that's going to be type submit. And we're also going to have add to do. And then under our form, we're going to map over our state, which is to do's. 
So it's gonna be to do stop map. And then we're gonna have for each to do. And here we wanna add a tick with a class name of to do. And then inside that div for now, let's add a paragraph that's gonna be to do dot text. And then a span that's just gonna be an icon to remove the to do, so we can just add X here. And then for our ID, since each element needs to have a unique ID, we're gonna pass key here equals to to do dot ID. So all of these val values we're getting from this object. So we're mapping through the array and then text is value from the input and ID is just unique ID. So this value at the moment is always going to be empty. So we need to add it to our input. So our input value is going to be equal to that value. And we'll need on change event. So whenever we type, this should get the actual value we type. And we're going to set the value to e.target.value here. And then when, when do we want to add a to do is when we submit the form. So we already made a function. And we're also going to do on submit equals to add to do function we have. And then we'll still need to uh, add a few more things here. So the first one form is going to reload. That's the default behavior. So we want to pass event here or just E. And we want to do E dot prevent default. And also after we submit the form, we also want to clear the input. So we have set value and we can just set that to an empty string to clear our input. So now we should be able to add a to do. The styles are not fixed yet, but you guys can see that we can add a to do. We click enter, but we can also add an empty to do here, which is issue. So here we can just do if value.trim is equal to an empty string, we just want to return. So that's going to make sure we can't add an empty to-do, no matter how many spaces it has. And we're going to be adding styles at the end. So here, the next thing we need is to remove our to-do. So we're going to make a function called const, let's do remove to-do. And we, want, we only want to remove the to-do once we click the X here. So we're going to add on click event. We're going to do an arrow function and we're going to call the remove to do. And we need to pass the actual ID of the to do so we can remove it. And we have that since we're inside a map. So we're going to do to do dot ID. And then this function is going to get our to do ID here. And then we called it set to do's. So we're going to call set to do's. We're gonna get all the to dos dot filter, and then for each to do, we're gonna return to do dot id, which is this. That's not equal to the actual to do id we passed into this function. So this is gonna return all the to dos except the one we clicked on, which is gonna get removed. So let's try adding something now. Let's do one and two, and then if we click x, it's gonna remove one and it's gonna remove two. And then final thing is we want to add few styles. So I'm going to go to app CSS, remove everything, and we're going to be adding few styles here. So box sizing, border box, we're going to remove margin and padding. And we're going to add font family of sans serif. Then we have our app. Just want to make it full width and height. Gonna add some padding for top only, so 40, 0, 0. Uh, display flex. And justify content center. We're gonna align items, flex start. Then our container here is gonna have a width of 100% and a max width of 340 pixels. And then we have few more, few more elements. The first one is going to be form. Gonna make it 100%. We'll add a height of 36 pixels. 
Splay Flex, and Align Items Center. Then the next thing we have here is our input and button. So we want to add a few same styles, like removing the border and removing the outline as well. And we're going to make it height 100% for both of them. Then we're going to target the input. We have a border, one pixel, solid, EEE. -E -E. You can see it a bit, which is going to be 74%. And we're gonna add some padding on the side on so 0 10. Then we can target our button. I'm gonna make it 26% in width, and we're gonna add a cursor of pointer. Then for our span, we're also gonna only add cursor of pointer, that's the X icon we have. And then we we can target our to-dos here. We can make that 100 percent in width. It's gonna have a bit of margin top only. Some padding, 14 pixels on all sides. It's gonna have a black background, so we can do 0, 0, 0 and color white, so FFF. Use display flex, align item center, and justify content, space between, just to separate the icon from the format text here. And that's gonna be all we need for CSS. So if we go here and type something, let's do React. We click Enter, it's gonna add it. We can do JS and click Add, it's gonna do the same thing. We're not gonna be able to add an empty to do here. And also one more thing, we can add auto focus here if you guys want. This is optional, this is just gonna focus the input once the page loads. So if we reload the app, we're gonna see it. And then if you guys wanted to have some to do showing like we had in our app. What you can do instead of this, instead of passing an empty array here, you can just copy everything inside of this. So this array. And we can just add it here. And instead of text value, let's do text react. And we can make another object that's gonna be text. Let's do HTML. And it's gonna be ID, UUID v4. So this is only if you wanted to show something when the page loads. And we also need to remove dot 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 to lose. So there we go, we have React and HTML, which we can remove as well. We can add new values and so on. So once we built everything, what we want to do, so we're going to go here, open console. Let's go back to our hours and we're going to do control C and Y here to end the project. And then we're going to need to run the npm run build, but we're not going to do it inside VS Code. It, we need to run it as administrator. So you either want to open command prompt here and uh, I'm going to do it with Windows Terminal. So you want to right click whatever it is, run as we want to navigate to that folder. So we can navigate to our desktop first and then it's gonna be to-do-app-react. So I can see the file name here. So it's gonna be our, that folder name. And once we're inside that folder, we wanna do npm run build. And this is also gonna take a minute or two to finish, so I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so we're back. Once it's done installing, it should look something like this. It's gonna say 100%, zero here. And this is all we needed to do. Our project is now ready. So how do we start our project? We can close the terminal. And if we go to desktop, and we're gonna find this file or folder, which is to do app react. So let's search for that. We're gonna open that folder and we're gonna go to build. And then it's gonna say our folder name here again. So to do app react, open that. And you can do either one of these. I'm just gonna do Windows 64. And then all the way at the bottom, you should be able to see our folder name, which is to do app react.exe here. And this is the file you can open. And then if you open that, here is our desktop app we just made. And then we can again, let's test it, add to do's, add something else. 
Let's try removing. So everything works as expected here. So that would be it for this tutorial guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.